Hello and welcome to Good Morning Thailand. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about some of the news topics from across the country. I'm Jay and I'm Alex. This ad is brought to you by Carzuno, the easiest way to lease a brand new car in Thailand. And we're going to start with our first story today, taking us down south to Phuket, Thailand. Now, in Phuket, Thailand, a 21-year-old luxury villa manager was caught fabricating a story of being assaulted and robbed to hide her mishandling of customer deposits. Mm. Initially claiming to have been attacked and robbed of 100,000 baht, she admitted to the police that she lost the money in foreign currency trading. The deception was uncovered by the Kamala police station under the leadership of Colonel Somsak, who noticed inconsistencies between um, the lady's account and the physical evidence. The investigation revealed that uh, the lady had created an elaborate ruse, including self-inflicting a wound to support her false report of being robbed by a knife-wielding assailant. The police's diligent examination of the evidence, including photograph timestamps and her financial activities, led to her confession, and the lady hoped to recover the funds through stock market investments before her scheme was detected, but her plan was foiled by the police's efficient work, resulting in her facing charges for filing false statements. Yeah, I think I, I hate when people cry wolf. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, especially when it's like violent crime, because people take that very seriously and yeah. like, all right, what happened? Uh, oh, you attacked yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you fight club moment. 21 year old luxury villa manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with gambling issues. Yeah, mm. I don't know, man. That's a lot of trouble to get in at such a young age. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, good luck to her. All right, a, a young man, 23 years old, in Pechabun led the police on a chase after consuming cannabis. Oh. Right, so in Pechabun province, a 23 year old man, Amorn, uh, triggered a police chase and was arrested after a cannabis induced hallucinatory episode led him to flee from law enforcement. The incident unfolded when Officer Chai Win noticed Amorn riding his motorcycle without a helmet, number plate, or documentation and attempted a routine stop. Now, Amorn's panicked response and attempt to escape, fueled by paranoia from consuming a large amount of cannabis, resulted in a chase that ended with ex his exhaustion and capture. <laughs> Captured on video and widely viewed on Facebook, the event highlighted the officer's commitment to duty, and the police later learned that Amorn and a friend had consumed cannabis, causing his irrational fear and flight. Amorn now faces charges for modifying a vehicle without proper documentation and resisting police, with legal proceedings underway. Uh, yeah, first of all, don't consume cannabis and drive. Mm. Second of all, make sure that your bike is actually like up to street code. Yeah. And then third of all, if the police are trying to pull you over, yeah, pull over. Don't lead them on a chase. That is true. Yeah, one of the known side effects of cannabis can be paranoia. Mm. So, uh, yeah, that's why you should probably consume it in a safe environment. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you know that it's illegal in Thailand to modify your exhaust? I, 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 I was aware because of the story. Mm. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of bad things going on there. But, yeah, that was also one of them. So. Yes, that was. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to uh, move on to our next story, where I'm sure you're going to have some mixed feelings. A Thai millionaire was defrauded of over 63 million baht in a romance scam. Mm. That's right. A Thai millionaire fell victim to a sophisticated romance scam, losing over 63 million baht to a group consisting of two women and three men over six years. The scam, led by 35-year-old Non Tikan, unraveled when the victim, nearing bankruptcy, reported to the Central Investigation Bureau. He had met Non Tikan, who introduced herself as Ice, mm. on a dating website in 2016, but never met her in person. Their supposed relationship involved the victim sending money to cover her cancer treatment, family debts, and real estate investments persuaded by interactions with others posing as her family. The police arrested Non Tikan in Ayutthaya and later apprehended four accomplices uncovering their lavish spending on the swindled funds on luxury items and vacations. The scammers now face charges under the Criminal Law Computer Act and the Act of Prevention and Suppression of Money Laundering, marking a significant crackdown on online romance fraud in Thailand. Because even though you're a millionaire, you can still fall for love. Mm, I mean, that don't we all? <laughs> I think that is... Uh, uh, romance is always uh, wow. uh, can what be a, problematic. But what yeah. a scam! So the millionaire who never met this lady since 2016 has been helping her with 
cancer treatments, family debts, and real estate investments. What I, what I think what is a scam. In, what I think is interesting about this is how many people were involved. Like yeah. she had so many fake family members <laughs> like calling up. Yeah. Like, I wonder if the same guy just showed up with a mustache one time yeah. and like, oh, <laughs> uh, no, did he shave his mustache? Yeah, yeah. no, that's okay. his twin. Don't worry, mm. uh, yeah, he's got okay. cancer too. Oh uh, no, <laughs> no, that's I'm glad. Glad that guy. Maybe he'll get his money back. I'm not sure, but yeah. probably got spent. Mm. Um, all right, so uh, we're going back to Pattaya, where an intentional vehicle crash outside a Pattaya pub uh, leaves one injured. Mm. Now, in a bizarre incident in Pattaya, luxury vans carrying Chinese tourists intentionally collided with each other outside a secretive pub, leading to a three-vehicle crash that resulted in serious injuries, including a broken nose for one individual. The confrontation began after the tourists, arriving post-closing time, were turned away by guards, prompting them to call boxer friends to address the situation. This escalated into a physical altercation and, subsequently, the deliberate vehicular crashes captured in, in a viral two-minute video. Uh, now, Pattaya his police chief uh, indicated that the individuals involved could face charges of serious physical assault and attempted murder, contingent on the ongoing investigation's findings. The shocking incident uh, underscores the extreme lengths of aggression, culminating in a distressing scene where a man was trapped under one of the vehicles, necessitating police intervention. Wow, I don't know, a little, a little uh, nighttime brawl down Pattaya. Like, uh, I, I would be scared if somebody was calling in Muay Thai boxers for backup. I'd mm. probably uh, let let the beef go and start walking away. Not sure about you. You ready to throw down, Jay? I am uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do when I see conflict mm. in general. Mm. I take a moment, and, and this is not be me being nar narcissistic or arrogant, but I, l I look at myself and I think, I have a really good life. Mm. And I'm fortunate enough to be living this life. I want to continue living it. Yeah, And I yeah. just ignore and move on because I'm better than this. I have to think this all day, every day, sitting next to that guy right over there. No, I'm just kidding. So Vishai. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Calling him out. <laughs> Calling him out in the air. No. Uh, um, be right. Seriously, it's not worth it, man. Especially, like, tourists coming here. Like, why? You're, you've spent your money to come to this beautiful country to enjoy it and you want to you know you want to possibly hurt yourself or get in an altercation no, because to, of a what to me there are just plenty of opportunities for yeah. organized violence in thailand anyways True. there's plenty yeah. of bars you can go in and get yeah. in the ring and start throwing fists if that's what you're into so yeah, yeah. just uh you know consent to people consent <laughs> consent 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 say Indeed. three times all right <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to our next story today, which is regarding a crackdown in Nantaburi. Mm -hmm. Bangkok police arrest gay couple for drug distribution and extortion targeting professionals. Now, this happened in Nantaburi. Uh, Bangkok police arrested uh, the couple operating a drug distribution and money extortion scheme, primarily victimizing medical professionals and education sector high flyers with the LGBTQA plus community. The arrests for Top and Kang were precipitated by a complaint from a Thai doctor who detailed his descent into drug addiction and exploitation at Top's hands, including coerced, drug-fueled sexual encounters and financial extortion that nearly led to bankruptcy. Investigations unveiled uh, the two people's role as an uh, alleged drug lord and deputy school director known for hosting drug-laden gatherings and encouraging illicit activities among government officials. During the raid, authorities seized a substantial haul of narcotics, cash, and incriminating materials. Despite initial denials, the evidence forced both men to confess, revealing a concerning network potentially implicating high-ranking education officials and posing a risk to school children. The police have called for public assistance in shedding some more light on these activities. Mm, scandalous. Scandals. Uh, yeah, especially when uh, education mm. officials are yeah. caught up in this party scheme. Exactly. Going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, extortion, drug addiction. These are like those are pretty serious uh, yeah. uh, accusations, uh, mm. and hopefully this doctor can recover yeah. from that exploitation. All right. Well, anyways, that's not the only drama that's going on. Uh, mm. A Thai drama known as Until We Love faces controversy due to its similarities to a popular K drama. Mm. 
Now, the recent premiere of the Thai drama Until We Love, featuring a stepson and stepmother's unconventional romance, uh, played by Mark Prin and Yaya Urasaya, uh, has ignited online debate due to its noticeable, noticeable resemblance to the 2020 Korean series Love Struck in the City. Now, the show, while an adaptation of the novel and TV drama Likit Kamatep by Arita, showcases scenes eerily similar to the Korean counterpart, including the storyline of a heroine's betrayal, a beach meeting, surfing lessons, and intimate camper van moments, leading to speculation and requests for clarification from the producers. This controversy underscores the fine line between drawing inspiration and direct imitation in creative works, spotlighting the widespread influence of Korean dramas globally, with the Thai drama's production team yet to comment on the issue. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about the Filipinos uh, ripping mm. off that uh, that Thai singer, the TikToker ripping off yeah. that Thai singer. Apparently Thailand's in, in the news the other way this time around. <laughs> Can I just ignore all the controversy and just mm. watch it to watch Yaya? Mm. I'm, sure that's, I'm sure that's what a lot of people are doing anyways, but uh, yeah. That's uh, a lot of the times too. It's um, it's not up to its producers, right? Yeah. Like there are actors that are in this not mm. understanding that they are ripping something off too. Yeah. So they end up being the face of this controversy, yeah. even though it's not necessarily their fault. Yeah. Uh, mm. For those of you unaware, Yaya is actually like probably a list celebrity in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely a mega talented, gorgeous lady. So uh, that's why it's really in the news. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, TikTok's cool. Then there's like A-list celebrities in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, like actual series yeah. with acting. What's next, yeah. Alex? No, I know. Well, that's what I'm listening. That's this is probably a bigger controversy, I would think, mm. in my book, because that this would have to involve so many more people. Yeah. In in uh, perpetrating this sort of. No, uh, but look, I mean, mm. like, especially when it comes to series and when it's about mm. love and mm. drama, like, how many more storylines can you come up with you right know? like I'm, I'm seeing the uh, the storylines right what is it it's a uh, heroine's betrayal okay yeah. normal beach meeting all right surfing lessons never seen that on a rom-com yeah. and oh intimate camper van moment I don't everyone's know, like, like everyone's copying from everyone when it comes to like love drama that kind of stuff yeah. so i don't know i mean what the difference between plagiarism and homage and mm. taking an idea and kind of yeah i'm I'll, just biased because i love yaya Fair play. Yeah, yeah, if you're watching, mm -mm. I still support you. Mm. Go, yeah, yeah. Definitely mm. not watching. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, those were some of the stories from across Thailand today. There are, of course, more stories on politics, on anything that you're interested in Thailand, mm -hmm. on thetiger.com. So please do go check that out. For now, we're going to take some of the comments from the comments section. This ad is brought to you by Carzuno, the easiest way to lease a brand new car in Thailand.